Hello YouTubers, have I got a treat for you. Okay, here in YYC, uh, condensed milk can get rather expensive. I don't buy whole milk, I don't, and powder milk is really expensive. So I looked into a way to make condensed, sweetened condensed milk for my iced coffee. And not over a stove. I can't stand for very long right now um, after having an operation. You just can't stand too long. So what I've done is put it in the crock pot. Now it's very, well I didn't find any recipes to use anything but butter, whole milk, or powdered milk. I didn't have those things. So we're improvising as usual. This is something that a prepper needs to know, is how to improvise and how to make things work when you don't have all the ingredients. I was brought up that way, I learned to cook that way, and even now my children are like, how do you do it? It's trial and error. And I encourage any prepper that wants to uh, be self-sufficient to go ahead and try it. What are you going to lose? You have the time and the resources now that you may not have when the SHTF happens. So I'm going to show you what I got here. In my crock pot on high, I have three cups of 2% milk, not whole milk, and um, one and three quarter, one, one and a half to one and three quarter cups of white sugar, and three, or sorry, six tablespoons of margarine okay and we're gonna let this sit on the crock pot for quite a while because it is two percent so it's got a lot more evaporating to do uh, unlike the whole milk and the uh, whole milk uh, dehydrated powder so what we're gonna do is we're gonna occasionally stir it because I'm just a little paranoid of the sugar burning on the bottom um, use a plastic spatula or a wooden spoon. Try not to use metal on a crock pot. It creates these um, unflattering little gray lines. I don't know if you could see that, but uh, and they don't—they're really, really hard if it, if you can get them out at all. And they don't affect anything in the crock pot itself. It's just I like to try and keep mine clean. But anyways, yeah, this is going to go into my iced coffees. Um, this way, if we run out of milk, I still have my creamer. This here, you can also add things to it like um, vanilla to make your vanilla creamer for your coffee. Um, basically, any ingredient. I mean, you could probably even add Bailey's or Irish cream to it. And there you go. But yeah. Um, just don't drink your coffee and drive afterwards if you're putting too much into it. Um, I would show you the full process right now, however, I don't have a um, video editor for a Android at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit pretty much until bedtime. Well, I want to make sure all of this butter and sugar have uh, melted and, and joined nicely. We're going to be leaving the lid on this way, the proper way. And because this one is old, I get the neat little added extra where I can just turn it sideways, turn it on low, and go to bed. And turning it sideways on low will help with the evaporation process overnight. Um, and then, if all works out, you're going to see this video and a second one, and get to enjoy the benefits when you make your own. So, I hope you enjoy this. Um, again, preppers, try it out now. You never know when you're going to need something that requires and you can't do it when SHTF. Try it now while you have the amenities, while you have the time and the extras, not when it's too late. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me comments, feedback, and subscribe. Enjoy.